All right, boys and girls, time for a quick Bitcoin update here. As you can see, we had a monstrous pumperino all the way up to where we predicted, which is roughly around this next liquidation level. Okay, so these blue lines are 10x liquidation levels. When open interest changes a lot, then uh, these appear and these are incredibly, incredibly accurate. Okay, so we use those as take profits or areas in which we can pivot. Uh, as we can see here, yes, we have just got through that last clump. We have tested this clump and now we are heading down. Uh, it does seem that we have broken the parabolic structure that was formed here. So uh, yes, we have this line here. We bounced off this, okay, and then we didn't hit that line, so we created another trend line, uh, and from that point, yes, it has come down. Now, uh, we basically have to bounce here for another kind of parabolic line. Uh, if we don't bounce here, then it's quite likely we hit this line, we make a lower high, and then we actually go sideways for a little bit, which is absolutely fine. This is kind of what we expected when we were hitting around 70K, right? We said, hey, next time we hit 70K, uh, we should be expecting some sideways price action. Okay, so that's really what we're looking for there. Uh, if we're looking a little bit more in depth here on the one hour, we can actually see that, uh, yes, I mean, we have been grinding down here pretty uh, pretty healthily, actually. Not not crazy dumperinos. This is disgusting over here. I don't know what that is. Get away from me. But everything else, uh, yes, this this is absolutely fine to grind down uh, like so. I would expect a small bounce here, potentially, uh, just to retest the 4-hour and the 60-minute volume weighted ATR bands. And from that point, if we do actually come up and hit that, then uh, yes, I mean, if we can get over it, then it's a great sign that we can potentially head up. Uh, and continue this run up. But uh, besides that, areas we want to be looking for uh, for absolute collapse and just re retesting 60K essentially uh, would be if we lose this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band. Okay, so usually in bullish uptrends, guys, uh, this line here, this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, it is usually the area in which we do uh, have as a as a support right so as a support we bounce off of this pretty much every time we hit it in uptrends okay so uh, yes it's going to be important to be watching that area uh, if we do hit it in the future i don't know what i just did there we go <laughs> in the future uh, so yeah keep an eye out for this one but um besides that yes if we do lose this then I would expect something like that we could probably look for a trade down into this next level if we do hit that anyway uh, but besides that I would be looking for a bounce here if we want this run to continue um and yeah, I'm more expecting sideways more than anything. A consolidational range here, a little bit of cooling off because we are seeing that fear and greed up in the 70s right now. So yes, a pullback does make sense. But overall, if we are looking at the long term, guys, it's incredibly bullish, okay? We, we're violating this bull market barrier, uh, okay? So when we get above this bull market barrier, it's an incredibly bullish sign. It usually means that we are parabolic, okay? So we can see uh, the last run here. Bang. Okay, the run before that, if my internet's going to load. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, once we get above it, uh, absolute, just 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 bullishness okay massive bullishness so yeah if we can get above that 78k 80k level uh, that's a key sign that we do smash it to 100k very very quickly okay uh, but besides that yes we are testing it expect a lot of volatility around this area we are coming up to the election so it's going to get extremely volatile i'm talking about big 10 percent wicks to either side potentially uh, over this next month so keep an eye out for that uh, and to be honest, guys, that's pretty much the update. We can see actually see we can actually see the hash ribbons actually went long here yesterday, which is fantastic. Uh, I wouldn't say it's super confirmed as you can see here. Uh, it's not like super good posture on these moving averages, uh, but overall, yes, on chain is looking a lot better. Okay, we did get that closed trade signal, and uh, yeah, from that point we had a bit of a trap down and then a pumperino. So if this long wants to come into fruition, it's a great sign. Okay, it usually means that we bang it up from this point, but. As I said, lots of things happening in the world. Let's just wait for this election to, to kind of finish. And then, uh, yeah, coming in to late November, we will have better direction on the market, okay? Uh, but besides that, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I did want to address the Fairdesk situation. I did warn you guys in the Telegram to withdraw all your funds from Fairdesk. That will be available for the next week, I believe, for you to do that. But definitely do that because they have been indicted. <laughs> okay, they have been uh, caught. Uh, and uh, yes, it's it's not good. They've been doing some bad stuff behind the scenes. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can expect that from some of these smaller exchanges, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I, I had fun on that exchange. I made some money on that exchange. And they, were, they were pretty nice to me anyway when I talked to them. So uh, what we will say here is yes, withdraw all your money from Bybit, not Bybit. <laughs> withdraw all your money from Fairdesk 
and use Bybit instead, okay? So if we are gonna look here, um, I do have a referral code in the description if you wanna check this out, uh, check out Bybit. But um, yeah, a lot of people don't have access to Bybit because it's obviously regulated everywhere. Uh, and what Bybit have done here, they actually have the founders that have created a DEX that allow you to trade leverage with high liquidity, exactly the same as an exchange, but from your wallet. And this is something that is mind blowing. I wasn't aware this existed. So uh, yeah, when these guys approached me and said, okay, try buy a bit and I was like okay but I'm UK I can't try buy a bit and my audience of, of UK and US they can't try buy a bit uh, they actually came up with uh, with this and, and, and basically told me uh, what this was right so what this is it's exactly the same as buy a bit or as any other exchange but you can trade on leverage right that's fantastic. There is going to be a maximum amount you can trade with of course because um, well the issue with this is it's 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 a liquidity based thing, right? So it's dependent on how much liquidity people put in to this system uh, in a decentralized way that can help this run. So if there's not much liquidity uh, and the price can collapse or anything like this, then uh, yeah, they're going to limit the amount of trades to limit not just your risk, but limit the risk of the liquidity providers, limit the risk of everyone involved. So everyone gets that kind of fair um, risk assessment as things happen. That's why they have these, these kind of uh, limits on them. But uh, overall, if we were trading say uh <clears throat> yeah if we were trading pretty much any leverage we can uh we can actually um have up to 250k in there so it's not too bad it's not too bad uh, but it's maximum position right so just just keep an eye on that one um but besides that yeah fantastic exchange all you do is connect your wallet okay and then from that point you are good to go right that's all you do you know kyc don't need to make an account you just connect your wallet and it's like a dex you can trade uh, pretty much any asset it's fantastic and uh yeah where, where's my ticker gone actually there was a ticker up here but this seems to have vanished um the other the other option here is uh, Apex Omni, you actually get a free NFT if you use this and it's a lot faster and a lot cheaper. Again, same company, just uh, slightly different partners and a lot more liquid, I would say. Oh, it's up there. Okay, maybe I was scrolled down in the other one. Yeah, I was scrolled down. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you can pick your tickers like normal here on this thing, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to have every ticker like you would imagine on PancakeSwap or something like that, but all of your main tickers, all of your main altcoins, you can see here, Omni just has so much more. All of the main um, altcoins and meme coins and stuff like this, you can trade on this platform. And it's just like a normal exchange. It's really fantastic what they've done here, right? Uh, so um, yeah, check these guys out, definitely. And uh, it will be in the description if you do want to. Uh, but besides that, that is going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.